Welcome in to Eddie S. Henderson Stadium in Midtown Atlanta. It's the Knights. It's the Clark Central Gladiators. It's the 5A Boys Round of 16 here on the SDH Network. My name's Jason Longshore. Thank you for joining us once again. If you listen to the Midtown Jefferson match that ended about 20 minutes ago, whoo, what a match. The Knights got the win over the Dragons, Carolyn Hardy with a goal with less than two minutes left in the second half of overtime. But here, it's the boys, the Knights against the Gladiators. They'll start with the home team, Midtown, 14-4 and on the season, perfect 8-0 and in region play. They advance to this round after defeating Kell 3-1 in the first round in a tricky match. Kell was ranked in 5A for most of the year, but fourth in their region. Clark Central, 16-2 overall, 5-1 in their region. They got here after a 2-0 win against Woodland of Cartersville. Clark Central undefeated at home, but 6-2 on the road. Midtown, 9-1 at home this season. The Knights in their all garnet moving from left to right on your radio dial. Clark Central in the all white moving from right to left. Let's kick it for 40 minutes from Midtown Atlanta. The Knights kick off and swing it over to the right side. Settled down by Zach Spangler. Spangler gets it back up against the touchline trying to dribble forward. Knocked out for a throw. Lucas Stewart knocked that one out for the Gladiators. Spangler looking for his options, throws it long up the middle. Flicked on by Lathan Johnson. Settled down by the Gladiators. They're in possession in their own half, dribbling forward. They find their number nine, Thad Pruitt. Pruitt can't control. Lathan Johnson runs it down, but it's going to be a free kick for Midtown instead. Quickly played by Alex Salome. Sliding challenge, middle third, no foul called. Midtown in possession in the center circle. 
Big swing over to the right side. That's one by Jackson Ogilvy. Ogilvy getting back on it. It's going to shield a player off. Battle for it in the corner. This has turned into a little bit more of a challenge for Clark Central, and they concede the throw. Gladiators unable to get out of their own way that time. Danny Bird has to concede the throw. Spangler will take it. Spangler throws it into the 18. Johnson wants to turn, can't do it. Earns a throw. Spangler will try it again. Spangler drops it back. Swung over by Braden Scheinfeld. Scheinfeld will get it back near midfield. Scheinfeld across to his center back partner. Working up the left side. Played through the middle. Pass picked off. Clark Central tries to hit the quick break. That's going to work. They find Thad Pruitt. Pruitt knocks it off of a midtown defender. It's going to be a throw for Clark Central in the attacking third. Pruitt was able to walk the tightrope on that far side. Price Wilson knocks it out for a throw. And the Gladiators have a long throw here running all the way across the track. Thrown into the six-yard box. Flicked onto the back post. Volley off the bar. Off the football goal post. It took a deflection. It's going to be a corner Clark Central. It's going to be a corner on the near side. That long throw caught everybody by surprise. Flicked onto the back post, and the volley was deflected up off the football goal post. Corner Gladiators from the near side. In swinger, top of the six. Knights clear. Headed forward by the Glads. They're trying to find space on the right. Low cross, knocked out. Throw Clark Central. And it's Thad Pruitt with the long throw once again. This one's a little bit further out. 15 yards out. Pruitt runs up. Throws this into the six. Headed away. Good header by Scheinfeld. Pruitt is going to let that go out. No, it doesn't go out. Wanted to get another long throw. Wasn't able to pull that off. Gladiators have to recover defensively. They do. It's good work from Clark Central, but Midtown regains possession. Midtown trying to get down the left side. Sliding challenge. One back. Good work on that right side by George George Ogilvy. Throw Clark Central. Quickly taken. Long down the right side. And Clark Central earns another throw in the attacking third, and you know what that means by now. Raul Navarro won that one. Good work down the right side from Navarro. And this will be Thad Pruitt. About 10 yards off the end line. Headed for the six-yard box. Near post this time. It's headed down. Midtown deals with it well. Defending the set pieces well. That long throw can be a weapon, but so far the Knights handling things nicely. J.P. Steedling with the clearance. Clark Central's got guys that can throw it long all over the field. That one from the middle third into the attacking third. Midtown's got to keep their head on a swivel. They can't save that one at midfield. Throw for Clark Central. Pruitt. Looking for the throw in every single time, Thad Pruitt. Now he's 10 yards inside his own half and throws it 40 yards down the line. Headed out. Pruitt will move up about 15 yards. Five minutes in, no score between Midtown and Clark Central. Referee making sure Pruitt doesn't advance too far on that sideline. Pruitt, long run up, throws this into the 18, headed away by the Knights. Headed back down, Clark Central shot wide. Run on attempt for the Gladiators. Jackson Ogilvy, high and wide. Here comes Midtown trying to play through the middle third. Ogilvy clears it, but it's a foul before that. Free kick Midtown, 10 yards inside their own half. 
Clark Central head coach Chris Aiken talked about having to be strong in the transition moments tonight. That was a key coming in, along with defending set pieces. Midtown scored three goals against Kell from set pieces. So far, it's been Clark Central looking dangerous on the set pieces. And it's been that long throw from Thad Pruitt. Midtown into the attacking half now. Trying to find the combination on the left side. Nothing doing, so they swing it back over to the right. Scheinfeld up the right side. Spangler inside. Can't find Wilson. Clark Central fighting for it. Spangler gets a touch. But it's the Gladiators who come away with it. Lucas Stewart battle through the middle. Here come the Gladiators. Pruitt down the left. Cutting in on the right. Long range shot from Pruitt over the bar. 30 yards out. Thad Pruitt doesn't miss by much that time. Clark Central putting a big scare in Midtown early. Here come the Knights down the left. Trying to control it in the middle third sliding challenge to get back on it. Foul from behind. Free kick Midtown. Yellow card on that foul from behind. a sliding challenge from behind by Ulysses Silis. He gets the yellow. He has to leave the match, at least momentarily. Nico Cope will check in. Free kick midtown. Not quite 10 yards inside the attacking half. They're going to play this along into the 18. Clark Central's dropped deep. They're not trying to set the line high here. They've set the line 15 yards from their own goal, even less than that, around the penalty spot. Midtown chips this into the 18, looking for the header, can't find it. Pruitt trying to let this one go, or it's Ogilvy. Battle for it, Midtown almost walking that tightrope on the end line, but it's out for a goal kick. Thanks to our presenting sponsor, Kaiser Permanente, for helping soccer down here cover soccer at every single level across the state of Georgia. We've had extensive high school coverage all over the state this year, along with Soccer Is In Session, our weekly show. Right now, the weekly show is kind of all over the place because of the high school playoff schedule. We'll get back to Wednesdays at 7 here soon. Right now, it's when each round finishes. Goal kick played into the middle third. Clark Central gets the throw at midfield, but that's not going to stop him from throwing this long. Pruitt didn't like the first ball. He's going to take the second. Thrown in down the line. Flicked on. Into the attacking third. Navarro wants to turn. Back to his right. To get some help. Ogilvy there. Tackled away from him. Midtown's got to clear out of their 18. They do. Ogilvy heads it back into the 18. Midtown's in good shape to defend that. James Crop runs it down. Edge of the 18, dribbles it back inside the 18. Crop with the punt from the top of his 18. One in the center circle by Midtown. Here come the Knights. Johnson gives it back to Salome. Salome making a run, fighting for the second ball. Salome can't win that and commits a foul. Free kick, Clark Central, 10 yards inside their own half on the right side. 10 minutes played, no score. Midtown and Clark Central, round of 16 in 5A. Try to get you some score updates at halftime. Free kick, Clark Central, played long, down the middle, flicked on. Crop's going to get there in the corner of the 18. And James Crop claims it, the sophomore goalkeeper, rolls it out to Scheinfeld. Scheinfeld stood up, goes back to his goalkeeper, Crop. Crop swings it over to the left side. Wilson passes forward. Find Salome. Great turn from Salome. Salome streaking down the left side. Heavy touch. Tackle won by Clark Central. Here come the Gladiators through the middle third. 
Spin at midfield. Played long down the right. Pruitt's going to get in behind. Can he turn the corner? He can get the cross in, but Scheinfeld is there to get the touch and clear. Battle in the center circle. Won by the Gladiators. Grady Payne headed it forward. But it's back to Midtown. Scheinfeld. Long diagonal from Scheinfeld out to the far side. Popped up into the air. Battle for it there. Salome gets the touch and carries forward. Salome over the top too much. Nathan Paredes, the goalkeeper for Clark Central, comes out to grab it. Paredes punts long into the attacking half. Scheinfeld wins the aerial duel. Played forward. Clark Central clears that away from Bryce Bowman. Salome able to get a touch. Fancy footwork from Salome. Swings it over to the right side to Zach Spangler. Spangler cuts it back. Scheinfeld plays it across. Carrying it out of the back is Wilson. Wilson passes forward to Johnson. Knocked back out to the left. Connections cannot be made by Midtown, and it's going to be a throw for Clark Central. 27-45 on the clock. Gladiators play long, straight down the middle. Nobody home, but Pruitt's going to keep chasing. Scheinfeld heads it back to Krop. Wilson carrying it out of the back for Midtown. Pass intercepted. Gladiators in the middle third, dribbling into the middle. Playing back to the back line. Danny Bird, direct, looking for Navarro, finds Pruitt instead. Pruitt, dribbling to his left. Dispossessed. Good check back by, by Bowman for Midtown. Clark Central back on it. Played through the middle. Navarro can't get the touch inside the 18. Scheinfeld might have gotten across and gotten a toe to it. Crop came out to grab. That initial flurry from Clark Central. Things have kind of settled down now. 26-40 on the clock. Good work out on the right from Midtown. They're into the attacking half. They're down the left side. They're into the attacking third. Knights looking for the angle to cross. Can't find it. Stood up on that right side. Good defensive work by George Ogilvy. But Salome finds the handle for Midtown. Clark Central couldn't get out of their defensive half. Back down the left for Midtown. Pass deflected. Bowman finds it. It's played back to Price Wilson. Wilson squares it to his right. Scheinfeld squares it back to his left to Wilson. Midfield for Midtown. Salome spins. Can't spin around the second time. Pruitt almost finds the deflection. Wilson swings it up the left side. Here comes Midtown, early cross, top of the 18, won by the Gladiators. Here comes Clark Central. Danny Bird, good defensive work to anticipate that cross. Clark Central will get a free kick inside their own half. And a little bit of a talking to for Lathan Johnson. Lathan Johnson, the sophomore, 14 goals on the season, the leading scorer for the Knights. Free kick, Clark Central. Just over 25 left in the first half. No score as of yet. Long ball flicked on. Nobody home. Midtown can't clear, though. They find it the second time. Opportunity to break here for the Knights. Down the right now. Here comes Salome. Foul behind him. Salome was dispossessed by George Ogilvy. But the foul was in the backwash behind the play. Bryce Bowman was fouled. So it's going to be a free kick. Five yards inside the attacking half for Midtown. Referee trying to calm everything down after a couple of tackles from behind. You got to... Very frustrated Clark Central player who was getting a talking to from the referee. 
Augie Coons. Thad Pruitt came over to try to calm Coons down, and Coons told Pruitt to mind his own business. Free kick, Midtown. Blasted into the 18. Paredes goes up to grab it. Paredes, punt from the top of his 18 into the Atlanta night. That gets behind everybody. Pruitt. 1v5, takes a quick shot, pulls it wide of the far post. Clark Central is a team that keeps you on your toes. It doesn't take a whole lot of passes, a whole lot of combinations for them to look dangerous. That ball's just a long punt that gets by everybody, and Pruitt takes a quick shot. Crop not tested on that one. It's going to be a goal kick. Ball was rolling initially. That's why it's going to be taken again. John Haynes into the match for Clark Central. Midtown player fouled inside his own half. Fans don't like it. Free kick. Knights play quickly. Up the left side. Passed forward to Salome. Salome Johnson spins out to the left. Back to Johnson, down the left flank, into the attacking third. Cross, back post. Ogilvy can't head it. Controlled in the corner by the Knights. Spangler, low cross, cleared. Spangler's going to run this down, though. Hudson Johnson with that second cross. And Ian Schuler regained possession in the middle third. Wilson, Schuler, Schuler. Find Spangler down the right. Spangler cuts it back inside of the defender. Inside to Schuler. Schuler. Back to Scheinfeld. Scheinfeld dribbles forward, passes forward, finds Bowman. Bowman shielding off a defender, turns to his right. Great turn from Bryce Bowman. Bowman into the attacking third, lays it off. Cross, cut out. Avoided the corner as well. That's great work from Coons from Clark Central. It's going to be a deep throw for Midtown. Spangler throws into the 18. Bowman up against the end line. Tries to earn the corner. Can't. Still Midtown, though. Cross. Back post. Cleared. Corner. Quick cross there. Had two options on that back post. Hudson Johnson. Great look from him. The freshman, Hudson Johnson. And he earns a corner for the Knights. 21.50 on the clock. Ian Schuler goes across to take it. In swinging corner from the far side. Back post delivery. Headed crock. Back across. Almost flicked on. Thought it was going to be flicked on. Just couldn't find the timing of that one, Lathan Johnson. Almost the Johnson to Johnson connection. Didn't quite come off. But you see why Midtown scored three goals from set pieces against Kell last round. Clark Central, goal kick. They regain possession. Coons. Plays it all the way back to his goalkeeper, Paredes. Pass intercepted. Salome plays to the back post. Opportunity here for the Knights. Shot. Save, Paredes. Big save from Paredes on J.P. Steidling. Long ball into the attacking half for Clark Central. Crop clears it out for a gladiator's throw. 20 and a half left in the first half. No score between Midtown and Clark Central. This is in the attacking half, so it is in Thad Pruitt long throw range. Backs up to the wall, all the way up to the touchline. Throws this into the 18 from 35 yards out. It's flipped forward. Gladiators trying to find the handle. They do in the 18. Spun back around on their left. Looking for the cross. Into the 18. Cleared. Sliced clearance, though. It's still there. Spangler has to get ahead to it. Settled down. Long range shot by the Gladiators. Caught by Crop. 
Long range shot taken quickly there by Nico Cope. Crop made the save look comfortable. Here come the Knights up the left side. Into the attacking half. Down the flank. Out wide. Looking for the cross. Trying to dribble it into the 18 was Steeding. Cleared. Midtown throw. Attacking third on the left. 19-20 left. Thrown into the 18. Nobody's there except for Paredes. Nathan Paredes, goalkeeper for Clark Central. Ball's in his hands. 19 minutes on the clock. No score. First half. Clark Central in Midtown. Round of 16. Header down in the middle third. Gladiators on it. Bombed up the right side. Nobody home. Midtown throw. Thrown in quickly to Wilson. Wilson, big switch. Looking for Johnson, but Ogilvy gets there first. Jackson Ogilvy with the header. Midtown throw. Wilson. Schuler. Wilson. Defensive half possession here for the Knights. Long down the right. Gladiators regain possession. They advance into the attacking half. Brought back into the middle third. Clark Central starting to find the connections through the center circle. Run down by Lathan Johnson. Swings it over to Spangler on the right. Has to hustle. Picked off. Lucas Stewart with the interception. Gladiators dribbling down the left side. Trying to find a cross. It's not there. They don't get the handball that they wanted either. Hudson Johnson inside to Schuler and now over to the far side to Steeding. Great turn from Salome. Tricky footwork from Salome. Long down the left side for Steeding into the 18. Cuts in on the right foot. Cuts in again. Shot blocked by the defender. Still there. Salome. Shot blocked by the defender. Still there for Midtown. Shot blocked by the defender. Still into the 18 off of Bowman's head. Goal kick. Three blocks by Gladiators defenders. They might have the select logo on their thigh after that series of shots. But nothing got through, and the Gladiators will make some subs. Aaron Perez. He's into the game along with Andrew Ellers. Paredes, goal kick, header, won by Hudson Johnson. Heads it across, Schuler gets a touch. And now a battle on the far side, it's won by Steeding. Knights trying to get out of their own half. Schuler blasted up the left side, it took a deflection. Throw for Midtown, just over the midway line. Drop to Wilson. Wilson, big switch to Spangler. Zach Spangler, back into the middle to Schuler. Schuler, the metronome for Midtown in possession. Stationed in front of the back four. Flick on by Steeding. Sparling couldn't get there. Battle on that opposite side. Dalzell runs it down. Plays inside to Schuler. Schuler. Scheinfeld. 15 and a half left. No score. Midtown and Clark Central. Knights in possession in the center circle. Great turn from Schuler, leaving players in the dust. Dalzell up the left side. Further up the left side. Steeding. Salome can't control. Clark Central's on it in their own half. They can't combine to get out of their own half. Schuler stepped up to win it. Draws a foul 40 yards from goal. Free kick midtown. Free kick for the Knights, just inside of 40 yards. 
Ian Schuler earned it. Schuler and Bowman are the ones standing over it. Bryce Bowman, 11 goals on the year. The senior headed to the Colorado School of Mines in the fall. See if he can follow in the footsteps of Tesho Akindeli. It's going to be Schuler who takes it. Bowman goes into the 18. Clark Central drops deep to defend this. Schuler, long to the back post, chested down. Paredes got a hand to it. Follow up shot over the bar somehow. Corner. Paredes in traffic, got a hand to the first one. And then I think the follow-up shot is knocked over the bar by Danny Bird. Clark Central playing so deep on the set pieces, they're giving Midtown a lot of different looks. Really surprised to see that. It's a corner here for the Knights. Last time they tried to the back post to head it back across. Schuler to take. Outswinger from the near side. Play to the penalty spot. Flicked on. Bicycle kick save by Paredes. Didn't catch it cleanly there, Lathan Johnson, but he went for the spectacular. Paredes heads it into the, uh, punts it into the middle third. If he headed that into the middle third, that would be a shock. Gladiators trying to find their way through on the left. Hudson Johnson dribbles it out. Quick throw down the line. Scheinfeld is there. Clears it back near midfield. Salome wins the 50-50. Bowman out to the left. Steeding. Long. Lathan Johnson into the 18. Johnson blocks the clearance. But it came back off the defender. That's going to be a corner for Midtown on the far side. Johnson didn't give up on that. Knocked it off of Bird. Corner, far side, Midtown. 12-10 left in the first half. No score. Midtown and Clark Central. Round to 16 on the boys' side. In swinging corner, near post. Paredes drops it! Did he drop it into his own goal? He did! Goal Midtown! Goal, 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 Knights! It's an in-swinging corner, low, very different delivery from Midtown. Padredes got both hands to it. I think he was trying to parry that down and then pick it up, but it spun behind him. And Midtown takes the lead in a very unexpected manner. Clark Central kicks off, trailing 1-0. 11.55 left in the first half. See how that changes the complexion of this one. Long ball, won by Bowman. He carries it forward. Bowman down the left side. Possession regained by the Gladiators. Sliding challenge, foul called, free kick Clark Central. Braden Dalzell was trying to break out. It's going to be a throw for Clark Central, not a free kick. Long throw, 30 yards down the line. Dalzell clears. Here comes Salome down the left. Midtown looking for a second. Salome tackled away. Now it's the Gladiators in the middle third. Clark Central working up the left side, looking for Ogilvy. That's asking a lot on that run. Throw in Midtown. Back to Scheinfeld. And all the way back to Wilson. Brady Scheinfeld. Price Wilson. Up the left side, Dalzell. Gets behind. Gladiators want to make something out of this on the right. 1v2, but they earn a throw. 
These throw-ins can be dangerous for the Gladiators. Thad Pruitt. 20 yards out. Throws it into the A18. Header won by Midtown. Pruitt running in to try to get there. Doesn't get there. Collision, no foul. Salome spins away from Pruitt. Plays it up the left side. Clark Central steps in front of Johnson to regain possession. Salome commits the foul, and he's going to get a yellow card for the extracurriculars. A couple extra kicks out at that. Oh, no yellow card. Just a whistle and a clock stop to, to calm everybody down. No yellow. Thought Salome was going to get one there. Thought he kicked out at the end. This game's been very physical in the first 30 minutes. 9.54 on the clock. Free kick Clark Central in the middle third. Driven into the A18. Looking for the deflection. Midtown wins the initial header. Pruitt plays it inside. Looking for the shot. Top of the 18. Curler caught by Kropp. Good footwork from James Kropp. He just slides across, knocks that down, picks it up. Clark Central was able to get that shot off through traffic. Navarro got the shot off. And it's the Gladiators back in possession in their own half. Back to the center circle. Schuler knocks it down. Gladiators on it. Popped forward. Here comes Clark Central on the run. Through ball looking for Navarro behind him. Still battling for it. Deflected. Pruitt, 30 yards from goal. Drifting to his right. Pruitt hits it off his own player. Still Clark Central, edge of the 18. Cut back. Popped into the 18. Schuler got there first, got run over, earns the free kick. Good work from Ian Schuler. Lucas Stewart looking dangerous down the left for the Gladiators, but Ian Schuler put a stop to it. Here comes Midtown getting close to the middle third. Pop back to Schuler. Scheinfeld. Midtown taking these moments on the ball to slow things down. Scheinfeld goes long over the top. Steeding can't get there in front of Paredes. Paredes rolls it out short to the right. Long ball, looking for Pruitt. He knocks it down. But Bowman recovers possession for Midtown. 7.50 on the clock. Bowman turns, tackled away from him. Here come the Gladiators. Dribbling into the 18. Left-footed shot, low, caught by Kropp. Kropp gets down low, slightly to his left. Comfortable save because of the good footwork from Kropp. Ulysses Silis with that shot. Here comes Midtown. Johnson back to Steeding. Through to Salome. Corner of the A18. Tackled away. Back heel flick forward by the Gladiators. Into the center circle now. Silis. Pruitt. Forward to Navarro. Looking for help. Trying to find somebody to give it to. He finds Pruitt. Pruitt curls around to his left. Gives it back to Navarro. Clark Central trying to rotate over on the right side. Chipped in. Good run from Pruitt into the 18. Popped across. Glowing for the volley. Doesn't connect. Still there for the Gladiators. Up against the end line in the 18. Dropped back. Celis Curler off the crossbar. Crop waved at it. Couldn't get to it. And believe Pruitt was offside on the far side. So it's a free kick midtown. Ulysses Silis with a right-footed curler from about 25. Crop had no chance to get to it. It comes off the bar. 6-10 left in the first half. Schuler on it for midtown. Tackled away from him. Midtown gets back to it. Salome wants to turn, can't do it. 
Aaron Perez has brought some life for Clark Central in the attack. Starting to be a little more disruptive on Schuler. Throwing down the left side to Johnson. Defended on that far side nicely by George Ogilvy. Clock will stop here. It's going to be a Clark Central throw. Johnson getting a warning for kicking that away. He gets the no more signal, Lathan Johnson. Throw Clark Central, 535. That one slips out of the hands a little bit. Solis tries to head it forward. Better is going up for it. Salome gets ahead to it. Navarro settles it for Clark Central. Salome gets a touch. Finds Steeding. Played inside to Bowman. Schuler. Big switch out to Spangler on the right. Zach Spangler drops it back. Scheinfeld under pressure from Pruitt. He's got Price Wilson on the left. Wilson passes forward behind Dalzell. Good pressure from Clark Central that time. They force the turnover. Pruitt takes the long throw down the right side, looking for Navarro. Price Wilson clears it back out into the middle third. It's picked up by Perez, but it popped up into his hand. Free kick midtown. 440 on the clock in the first half. 1-0 Knights. Own goal off of the goalkeeper. Couldn't catch a, a corner cleanly. Clark Central player goes down. No foul. Silis cross over the head of Navarro. Dalzell's got to defend this. He plays it off of Pruitt, but it comes off his hand. Free kick midtown inside their own 18. Knights leading 1-0. Trying to follow their girls' team into the quarterfinals. It's a heartbreaker for Jefferson in the first game of the night. Carolyn Hardy with the goal with 141 left in overtime for the 2-1 win for Midtown in the girls' action. Boys now, Midtown leading 1-0. Trying to do the double tonight. Here comes Bryce Bowman into the attacking third. Bowman spins back to his left. Bowman drops it to Schuler. Schuler chips it into the 18. Ogilvy heads it out. Clark Central just knocks this back into the attacking half. Navarro chasing but can't find it. His pressure, though, does force a turnover. Big switch looking for Pruitt. Pruitt's got wheels, but he can't get on the end of that one throw in Midtown edge of their defensive third on the left thrown into Price Wilson Wilson up the left side, Steeding heavy touch, can't keep it Clark Central throw Pruitt will take this even though it's 40 yards from goal throws it 30 yards down the field Wilson wins the header, Schuler settles it Popped forward to Bowman. Bowman does not connect with Johnson, but he's going to give chase. Under pressure, Johnson forces a turnover. Johnson into the 18. Can he cut it back? Blocked. Johnson, cross. Ogilvy clears corner midtown. There was nothing in that for Lathan Johnson, and he found something. Almost found something really nice. First attempt came back to him, and he had some nice footwork to get a second attempt. George Ogilvy shut it down. 2-10 left. First half action. 1-0 Midtown. They scored on a corner from this side earlier in the half. Played in. To the six. Headed back. Not cleared. Salome. Top of the 18, right-footed shot. Big save, Paredes. Huge save through traffic, Paredes. Cleared, throw midtown. You can say what you want about the goalkeeper dropping it into his goal to give up the first goal, but Paredes has kept it close. Bowman tries to pop one over to the far side, slices it out for a throw. 80 seconds left in the first half. Midtown leading 1-0. Throw into Pruitt. 
He doesn't keep it. Salome, 30 yards from goal. Shot! Paredes with the save and gets on the rebound. Nathan Paredes has been very busy in the first half for Clark Central. One minute left. Salome from 25 yards with that shot, forcing a diving save from Paredes. Pruitt flicks it forward for Navarro. Cleared. Salome pops it forward to Johnson. 30 yards from goal, but he's offside. 40 seconds left. Clark Central with a free kick. Edge of their defensive third. They go fast. Here come the Gladiators down the right. Pruitt slams it forward, but nobody's there. Pressure forces a turnover. Gladiators looking for an opportunity. It's into the 18. Shot saved by Crop at the near post. Again, trying to make something out of nothing. This time it's Lucas Stewart, but James Crop with the save at the near post. Crop's going to punt this into the sky, into the middle third, and that's going to do it for the first half. There's your horn, 1-0 Midtown at the break. Get reloaded on your refreshments. I'm going to do the same, and I'll try to get some halftime scores from you around the state. Stay with us on the SDH Network. Knights 1, Gladiators 0. are the NFHS. That stands for the National Federation of State High School Associations. But really, what we stand for, together with the GHSA, are the 195,000 high school sports and performing arts students in Georgia. And so we stand. We stand for the runners, debate team members, and basketball players. We stand for their coaches, officials, and adjudicators. We stand for the drummers, football players, and actors. We stand for the golfers, singers, and swimmers. We stand as the national leader and advocate for these essential activities and all who participate in them and make them possible. Because it is our purpose to ensure that high school students get to play, perform, and compete together. To learn more about who we are and what we stand for, visit nfhs.org.
This is the story of a very special woman. In a matter of seconds, she turned herself into a great mathematician or an entrepreneur. Her knowledge was limitless and still is. She could also make monsters disappear, especially those that lurked in the shadows under the bed. Once, this woman put back together a teenage girl's broken heart, which had been shattered in a thousand pieces, just by giving her a bear hug. She masqueraded as a regular person at work, but as a superhero at home. Everyone knows her as Gabriella. I still call her mom. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need to help, complete with tips and resources, at aarp.org caregiving. A public service announcement brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Welcome back to Eddie S. Henderson Stadium in Midtown Atlanta. The Knights of Midtown High School leading Clark Central 1-0 at the halftime break. Let's get caught up on some scores from around the state. As we take a look at the Georgia High School soccer Twitter list, uh, Collins Hill tied 2-2 with Denmark. Saw Denmark and Osborne last week. Denmark won in the penalty shootout. The four seed out of their region. They've taken Collins Hill to overtime now. McIntosh, 4-0 win over Statesboro on the boys' side. They advance to the Elite Eight. They are 19-0-1 on the season. Number one in the state in all classifications. McIntosh, big 4-0 win over Statesboro tonight. Campbell on the boys' side, up 1-0 over South Gwinnett, who pulled a big upset in the first round. Spartans, 22 minutes left in the second half. Campbell trying to see that one out. Up 1-0 over South Gwinnett. Walton on the boys' side, trailing 1-0. Parkview with an upset on the boys' side. They win 2-1 to advance. That one was a little unexpected from Parkview. Collins Hill, they were trailing in that game with Denmark, and they've come back to make it 2-2. Parkview scored in overtime to win their match. Collins Hill tied it up with 15 minutes to send it to overtime. Social circle in 1A D1 girls. They won 5-2 over Tallulah Falls. They're advancing to the Elite Eight. 
the Social Circle Commerce Girls State Championship rematch could be on. That was a 5-4 overtime thriller last year down in Macon. I'll be on the call for NFHS from Macon for 1A D1 for 3A for 5A, and we could see Midtown or Clark Central there, and for 7A. Luke Winstall, Jessica Charman will be on the call with me down there. Stay tuned for who we will be calling and who's going to advance. Midtown, 1-0 lead as the horn sounds and the Knights break their huddle and they get ready for the second half. It was an own goal off of the hands of Paredes. He's had a number of big saves in this in the first half for the Gladiators, but that one got away from him. That's the difference. All four goals for Midtown so far in the postseason, all from set pieces. Clark Central, their set pieces are a problem as well. Thad Pruitt with the long throw. Let's kick it for another 40 minutes. Midtown and Clark Central. Gladiators can't control. So the Knights in possession on the left side. Lathan Johnson knocks it out for a Midtown throw. Braden Dalzell steps up to take it. Headed away. It's another throw. Augie Coons with the header for Clark Central. Dalzell throws in. That's picked off by Coons. You can hear the smack up here as Lathan Johnson was trying to turn the corner. Caught the Clark Central player in the midsection. Field mic's pretty good. I think you might have actually heard that. Free kick Clark Central. Deep in their own half. They play long down the right. Flicked on. Pruitt's in the vicinity, but Midtown deals with it. Salome through the center circle. Popped over to the right side. Long run for Hudson Johnson. He's not able to get there in front of George Ogilvie. Ogilvie's pass picked off by Salome. George Ogilvie regains possession. Midtown just blasts that long over the end line. Took a deflection. They're going to get a corner out of it. Knights will take this from the far side. A couple minutes into the second half. Knights leading 1-0. With the lead, they will take their time on these restarts. Winner of this one will face the McIntosh Chiefs. Outswinging corner from the far side. Played in top of the six. Headed on and in. Goal, 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 Midtown. Lathan Johnson with the goal. 2 0 Midtown. Fifteenth goal of the year for Lathan Johnson. Perfect header on the back post. And Midtown leading Clark Central 2 0 early in the second half. Header forward by the Knights after the long ball from Clark Central off the kickoff. Gladiators regain possession. They've got to start throwing bodies forward now. George Ogilvy down the left. Doesn't get there in front of Salome. Salome earns a throw. Jaime Benedetti, the coach here at Midtown, very pleased with his Knights. They're up 2-0. 36 and a half left. 
Knights pass inside to Schuler. Back out to the right. Big cross looking for Johnson. He brings it down with the outside of the right foot. Paredes comes out to grab it. Lathan Johnson almost with a second. Paredes punts it into the center circle. Schuler finds it. Dribbles to his right. Down the right side. George Ogilvy can't make the play. It's popped into the middle. Lathan Johnson into the 18. Johnson up against the end line. Nowhere to go. Paredes gathers it in. Paredes with the throw down the left. Gladiators trying to get into the attacking half. Possession regained on that far side by Hudson Johnson. Big switch down the left side. J.P. Stiding into the middle. Touch away from the intended target. Bowman reclaims it. Stiding back across top of the 18. Salome right-footed shot. Cleared. Still there at the top of the 18. Salome comes flying through. He got a touch to it, but it comes off of his hand, I believe. Or he commits a foul. Either way, free kick, Clark Central. Gladiators, 35 minutes to find two goals. Paredes, long into the attacking half. Loose touch. Knights on it again. It's been all midtown early in the second half. Uh Uh-oh, here come the Gladiators. Pruitt up the left side. Pruitt tries to dribble in. Spins back around. It's behind Navarro. Schoenfeld lets that go over the end line. Substitution for Clark Central. Coons out. Perez back in. Crop plays the goal kick long. Gladiators win it back. Spinning in the middle third is George Ogilvy. Ogilvy pops into the top of the 18. Header one by Price Wilson. George Ogilvy runs it down. Battling with Stiding. Stiding comes away with it. Up the left side, trying to play Johnson in. Defensive play made by Grady Payne. Throw Clark Central. Good work there by Grady Payne. Part of the center back duo with Danny Bird. Stiding regains possession for Midtown. Back to Crop. Crop under some pressure. Plays it into the middle third. Trying to get it all the way to Stiding. Comes up a little short. Payne stepped forward. George Ogilvy now. Pass intercepted. Price Wilson. Schuler flicks it forward. Stiding pops it into the middle. Danny Bird comes away with it. Clark Central. Play long. Can't get control, though. Midtown back on it. Perez finds the handle for Clark Central, but can't connect the pass. Bowman. Johnson on the left for Midtown. Attacking half now. Back to Bryce Bowman. Bowman, great ball down the left. Schuler into the 18. Lathan Johnson, left-footed cross, back post, header wide. Stiding and switched with Johnson, made the run through the middle. Flashing header goes wide of the far post. 32-20 on the clock. Midtown leading 2-0. Paredes, goal kick, played into the middle third. Over the head of Perez. Try to play him on the run, but the pass is over hit. Clark Central trying to find some ideas here in the second half, trailing by two. Set pieces were a problem for them on the attacking side. They were making some problems for Midtown, but both goals defensively given up by Clark Central have come from set pieces. Every goal for Midtown in the postseason has come from a set piece. Clark Central back into the attacking half. 
Midtown dropping to defend. Popped into the 18. Wilson. Scheinfeld. Bowman gets a touch. It's still there, though, for the Gladiators. Played back inside. Opportunity here, 25 yards out. Dribbling to the top of the 18. Stood up. Scheinfeld just stands up the dribbling attempt. Better as trying to find some space. Couldn't find it. Throw in down the line. Headed forward by the Knights. Over the head of Salome. Knights find the second ball. Schuler, big switch. Steining. Up the left side, dribbling into the right. Through ball, slightly over hit. Good look, though. Cleared. Can't find the second ball. Here comes Clark Central. Gladiators, Pruitt. Corner of the 18 on the left. Cutting across to the right. Lays it off. Federes. No shot. Pulls it back. Shot now. Blocked. Almost fell to Pruitt. Out for a Clark Central throw. 40 yards from goal. That's still in Pruitt's range. 30 minutes left. Pruitt throws it down the line. Double team by Midtown. And they win the throw. Good team defending from the Knights. Zach Spangler will take the throw. Up the line, knocked down. Here come the Gladiators. George Ogilvy hits the overlapping run of Payne. Payne cutting inside, top of the 18, tries to flick it forward. Stiding got a touch. This is a Clark Central throw, and this is definitely in Pruitt's range. And he runs across to take it. 25 yards from goal. Pruitt will back up to Piedmont Park here. Throws this one into the 18. Flicked on, top of the six. Shot wide. Tried to just place that one. Clayton Bivens. Wide of the far post. That's the havoc that that long throw can cause, though. Crop standing over the goal kick. 28-50 left. Plays it short. Price Wilson up the left side. Dalzell picked off. Throw Clark Central. 35 yards from goal. Thrown in by George Ogilvy. Advances it further. Going to get another throw. Here comes Pruitt. 30 yards from goal. Found Bivens on the back post last time. Pruitt. Throws it into the 18. Flicked on. Headed away. And cleared. Stiding. Almost finds Salome. Pass blocked. Can the Knights break? Yes, they can. Turning the corners, J.P. Stiding leading the break, playing it into the middle. It's behind Salome, sliding challenge. Gladiators regain possession. Here comes Clark Central down the right. Into the attacking half, George Ogilvy. Ogilvy looking for an opportunity to cross. It's not there. Schuler just there to guide it. Played across. Clark Central into the 18. Good work on the dribble, but... Stood up by Spangler. Midtown throw on the far side. 27 and a half left. Midtown throws it into Bryce Bowman. Great turn from Bowman. Bowman has Dalzell on the left. He plays it long, too long. Cleared by Danny Bird. Navarro giving chase. Dalzell. Up the left side. Stiding. Pass picked off. George Ogilvy. Picked off. Stiding at midfield. Down the left side. Opportunity here for Salome. Through ball. Johnson. Top of the 18. Stood up. Has help. Plays it over to the right. Johnson. Back. Salome over the bar. Lathan Johnson to Hudson Johnson to Salome. Shot over the bar. Goal kick, Clark Central. That third goal probably would have ended this one. 
Gladiator still hanging around. Paredes, goal kick, settled by Dalzell. It's out to Steiding on the left. Good work from Midtown here to get into the attacking third. Wants to turn the corner on Payne. Plays it back instead. Schuler, 25 yards from goal. Shot off the bar. Backside Johnson in the 18. Looking for the cross. Finds it. Cleared. Corner. Schuler hit a slider off the face of the crossbar. Wasn't a knuckleball. That thing was a pure slider. Corner on the far side. 25 and a half left. Schuler low. Gets it back. Cross. Flicked on over the bar by the defender. Came off the top of the crossbar. He's got to try to make a play on that one, Ulysses Silis. Corner from the opposite side now for Midtown. In swinging corner, near side. Played into the six. Paredes knocks it down and grabs it. Less than 25 minutes remaining. Clark Central need two. Paredes finds Pruitt in the center circle. Through ball down the left. Great ball from Pruitt. Top of the 18. What a recovery from Spangler. Spangler clears. Salome dribbles past one in the middle third. Plays it across to Schuler. Schuler cuts back to his right. Payne takes it away from him. Clark Central with numbers possibly. Schuler commits a smart foul in the center circle. That allows Midtown to recover. Free kick, Clark Central. Let's see what the Gladiators can dial up here. Long top of the six. Crop comes out to claim it. Dropped it, cleared. Lost the handle at the end of that crop. Got some help from Price Wilson who cleared. Throw Midtown on the far side. Spangler will take it. Throws it in up the line. Johnson knocks it back to Salome. Salome dribbles it out on the far side. Quick throw from Pruitt down the line. Knocked down. Played all the way back to Crop. Can't pick it up. He did pick it up. They're going to let him. That could have been called as a pass back. Clark Central back in possession in the attacking half. George Ogilvy trying to find room to turn. He makes room to turn. Foul. Dalzell commits the foul. Flicked away. That's going to be a yellow card. Trying to delay the restart. Bryce Bowman gets the yellow. Dylan McCormick checks in. Pretty sure we'll see Bowman back on the field quickly. 23 minutes left. Free kick 45 yards out on the right for Clark Central. Played in by Solis. Headed away. Pruitt. Shot blocked. Stiding. Quickly over to the right. Salome keeps it moving to Johnson. Hudson Johnson wants to turn the corner. Can't do it. Jackson Ogilvy makes the defensive play. Midtown regains possession. Stiding through the middle. Salome. Out to the right. Johnson. Dribbling to the end line. Cross low. Top of the six. That's cut out. Throw Midtown. Danny Bird making the defensive play for the Gladiators. 
22-15 left on the clock. McCormick will leave. Bowman will check back in. Clock will stop here, and I don't know what the issue is on the far side. Referee going across, I think, to talk to the volunteer ball steward over there. He's taller than a lot of the players, so I'm not going to call him a ball kid. Throw in, down the line. Clark Central clears. Can they get out of their own half, though? They earn a foul. That'll help. It's going to be a free kick. Salome makes them kind of reset here. 21-40. Flicked on into the attacking half. Cleared. Johnson. Can't get past Bird. Stiding finds the second ball. Lathan Johnson picked off by Payne. Barreras comes out to claim it. Barreras punts it into the center circle. Chested down. Navarro spins around to his right. It's been kept in check so far by Midtown. Raul Navarro, he was the player of the game last time out for Clark Central. Schuler chips it over to the backside. Lathan Johnson, corner of the 18, flag is up. Again, Clark Central hanging around, but they're running out of time. 20 minutes and some change. They need two. Midtown leading 2-0. Own goal and Lathan Johnson. That's got the Knights on the board. George Ogilvy pops it down the right sides, out for a throw. That Pruitt will take it. Pruitt just seems to lurk wherever the ball's going to go out for a throw. He's on the right now. Long run up, long throw. Popped up into the air, flicked on, top of the six, headed back to Crop. Good work from Price Wilson. Good awareness that he could head that back to crop. Turning the corner, but running out of room. Actually, no. It's going to be brought back as a free kick. Thought advantage would be played there. Midtown's got a 2-0 lead. They really don't mind here. Just slows everything down, but... Thought Johnson had turned the corner. Maybe he stepped out and it was brought back. Salome lays it off. Gets it back. 30 yards from goal. Salome drifting to his left. Flicked all the way across to Stiding. Edge of the 18. 10 yards from the end line. Cuts back. Cross. Headed away by Payne. Stiding heads it back into the 18. Still there, but couldn't be settled by Bowman. Goal kick. Goal kick for Paredes. Less than 19 remaining. Midtown 2-0 lead. Free kick Clark Central inside their own half. Free kick played long down the middle by the Gladiators. It gets through. Cleared eventually. Scheinfeld won a second header. Bird. Out to the left. Jackson Ogilvy. Cleared. Throw. Clark Central. Ogilvy takes it quickly down the line. Gladiators get there. Here they come into the attacking third. Trying to turn the corner. Can't do it. Scheinfeld, good defensive work in the recovery run. Battle on the far side. It's Midtown on it. Gladiators throwing bodies forward. Can't find the handle. Cleared back into the middle third. Clark Central's on it now. George Ogilvy, nowhere to go. Has to drop it back. 
Now played forward and clear. Price Wilson slams that into the attacking half. Lathan Johnson settles. Schuler down the left side to Steiding. J.P. Steiding, 1v1, cuts back, plays it into the 18. Salome plays it further along, top of the six. Goal, goal, goal. Midtown. The Knights take the 3-0 lead. Hudson Johnson with the goal, his seventh of the year. Great work from Steiding down the left and in even better from Salome, who could have went to goal. Maybe a 50-50 chance. He found a higher percentage chance on the back post. Hudson Johnson with the goal. The Johnson and Johnson connection in full effect. Both Johnson brothers with goals. 3-0 Midtown. Clark Central got to take some serious chances now. They've got to get one quickly. Midtown just needs to see this out. Bowman, middle third. Navarro gets it. Gets it back. George Ogilvy plays it forward for Navarro, but it's going to get into the hands of Krop. Navarro couldn't stop his run. They bump. No, no intent there. Crop rolls it out to the right. Scheinfeld. Pass picked off by George Ogilvy. Ogilvy trying to dribble past Bryce Bowman. Can't do it. Bowman picks his pocket. Bowman's got some help on the left. Dalzell picked off. Payne tackled away by Stiding. Throw Clark Central. Played inside by Navarro. He's fighting for it. He commits a foul. Free kick midtown. 15 and some change. Knights will get a throw after the header from Grady Payne. Ian Lambert, the sophomore, checking in for Midtown. Gets the throw. Plays it inside. Pass picked off. Lambert checked in for Stiding. Dalzell throws it back to Wilson. Schuler out to the right. Hudson Johnson gives it back to Schuler. Hudson tackled away. Jackson Ogilvy makes the defensive play. Stepping forward, it's Bryce Bowman. Bowman, top of the 18, lays it off for Salome. Cross, back post. Johnson, header down. Traffic cleared. Still there. Lambert, cross, shot, goal, goal, goal. Midtown, Bryce Bowman. Lambert with the assist after stepping on the field. Bowman with the goal. Four Clark Central players kept the first one out. Defenders on the ground knocking it away. Paredes sprawled out trying to get to it. But Lambert found the rebound, slotted one across to Bowman, 4-0 Midtown. Now they can start to think ahead to next week. What a match coming up next for these Knights. The McIntosh Chiefs are looming. Do not believe the coin flip has been made yet. Both teams won their region. Hudson Johnson forces a turnover off the kickoff. Here comes Lambert down the left. George Ogilvy runs back, knocks it. Thought he knocked it off of Lambert. He didn't. It's going to be a corner. Both McIntosh and Midtown won their regions. I have not seen the results of the universal coin flip that will be used by the GHSA in the bracket where you have two teams of the same seed facing off. 
getting to that point in the tournament where that's going to have to come out now. In swinging corner from the near side for the Knights. Headed away at the top of the six. Bowman tries to keep it alive. Eventually finds Dalzell all the way back to Price Wilson. Wilson swings this over to the right side. That's a good ball from Price Wilson. Couldn't keep it over there. Here come the Gladiators. Popped into the attacking third. Flag is up. Tons of substitutions after that last goal for Midtown, as you would expect. So I'll try to catch guys as they get involved. Hudson Johnson now playing through the middle as Luka Stankovic is over on the right side. Crop on it in his own A18. Plays it out short. Scheinfeld drives this to midfield. Battle for it. Schuler commits a foul. Free kick, Clark Central. 13 minutes left. Schuler wins possession for Midtown, carries it out. Played up the right side. Stankovic chasing. Almost forces a turnover. Does force the turnover. It's picked off. Cross. Lambert, shot, wide. Goal kick, Clark Central. Campbell completes their win in the 7A round of 16, 2-0 over South Gwinnett. Campbell advances to face the winner of Collins Hill and Denmark. It's going to be a goal kick for Clark Central. More substitutions from both teams. Looks like Bryce Bowman's night is done. Thad Pruitt's night might be done. Not seen a final from that Collins Hill Denmark game. That's the one that I was looking for. Throw in Midtown. More subs into the game. Nick Parentoni. Price Wilson pass picked off. Middle third. George Ogilvy on it for the Gladiators. Stolen by Schuler. Schuler carrying it forward for the Knights. Looking for looking for Salome. Finds him. Second time. In the 18. Salome takes it to the left. Dribbles it out. Goal kick. Just couldn't turn the corner. Nice defending in that sequence from John Haynes, who's checked in for Clark Central. Andrew Ellers also into the match. It's been a great season for Clark Central. This is not the way that they were hoping that it would end. 16-2 and two coming into this one for Chris Aiken and his, his side. Here come the Gladiators still fighting. Heavy touch cleared. Scheinfeld clears. Knights looking for another one. Stankovic on the far side. Barreras gathers it in. He'll punt. Overhits it. Throw in Midtown. Ten minutes and some change. Parkview's win in overtime in 7A was against Pebblebrook. Pebblebrook was a state finalist last year. That's a big win for Parkview. They'll face Walton in the next round, who knocked off Mill Creek. Upsets all over the place in the GHSA tournament. Clark Central in the attacking half. 
Dribbling through traffic, trying to find the angle for the shot. Played out to the left. Opportunity here for the Gladiators. Corner of the 18, cross blocked. Stankovic plays it out wide to the right. Salome down the right side. Trying to curl one into the back side. That's easy for Paredes to claim. Nine minutes left. Paredes' punt knocked down. Midtown finds the handle. Stankovic commits the foul. Ellers wins it back for Clark Central. Haynes. Ellers at midfield. Pass blocked by Schuler. Still Gladiators, though, in the middle third. Big switch trying to get through traffic. Doesn't. Spangler. Salome spins back to his left. Tricky dribbles. In the center circle. Spinning back to his right. Spangler. All the way across to Price Wilson. Eight minutes left. Pass picked off. Gladiators would love to get on the board before this one's done. Popped forward. Spangler wins the header. Clearing ball blocked. Knocked back to Spangler. Cleared up into the middle third. Header falls to the feet of Salome. Jousting on the far side. Clark Central wins that joust. That's good work defensively. Nick Bird, good play from him. George Ogilvy, couple of step overs, trying to find the through ball. It's cut off by Lambert. Played back through. Ogilvy can't find a handle. Stankovic through the middle, taken away from him by Haynes. Ogilvy spun around. Schuler takes it away from him. Now it's up the right side. Gets past Salome. Gets past Parentoni. Here comes Clark Central. Long over the top. Wilson heads it down. Comfortable for McCormick. Scheinfeld gives it back to Wilson. Lambert heads it forward but out. More subs for Clark Central as they empty the bench. Looking at the 5A bracket, we know that the winner here will face McIntosh. McIntosh defeated Statesboro. Wyatt Meyer in goal now for Clark Central. We're replacing Nathan Paredes. Gladiators blast it forward. Cleared back into the attacking half for Midtown. Salome can't turn the corner. I have not seen any other scores in 5A as of yet. I'll try to get those before we go. The top right of the bracket, we'll see McIntosh and Midtown in the next round. The winner of that will face one of Bradwell Institute, Tucker, Loganville, or Centennial. Throw in Midtown in the attacking half. Schuler, Lambert, McCormick. All the way across to Spangler. Scheinfeld through the middle, McCormick. Gave it away initially, found the second ball. Schuler gave it back to McCormick. Scheinfeld clears along. Salome tries to bring it down, can't.
Clark Central free kick in the middle third. They play long to the top of the 18. Header one by Midtown. Schuler flicks it out to the right. Midtown just trying to see this one out with four minutes left. Back to Crop. Crop pass picked off in the middle third. Gladiators get numbers forward. Pop to the top of the 18. Schuler goes in for a tackle. Clears. comes Clark Central down the left. That's a great defensive play by Scheinfeld. Price Wilson pops it back into the middle third. Played up the right side. Haynes for Clark Central. Three minutes left in this one. 4 nil Midtown. McCormick knocks it away. Still Gladiators, though. McCormick knocks it away again. McCormick still defending in the middle for Midtown. Pass gets through. Price Wilson clears. Baron Tony by himself. 1v3. Baron Tony dribbling across to the right. Baron Tony dribbling all the way across to the right. Knocks it out for a throw. Nice run from the senior, Nick Parentoni. Throw in Midtown, two minutes left. As I refresh and try to find some scores in 5A, the only one I have is McIntosh. Oh, it's chipped in. Goal, goal, goal. Midtown. Just a little half volley. Braden Dalzell, third goal of the year. Meyer caught off his line. Dalzell just popped that into the far side. 5 0 Midtown. One fifty one left. Back underway, Gladiators kick off. So Midtown and McIntosh in the Elite Eight shot over the bar from Clark Central. I've had the chance to call two McIntosh games so far this year. Watch them beat Dalton down in Peachtree City and beat Stars Mill at home as well. McIntosh has not lost this season. Midtown with the win tonight will go to 15-4. and four. And they have lost to Riverwood. That's the last loss that they have had since losing three in a row at Alpharetta, at Johns Creek, and at Marist. Riverwood, one of the top teams in 6A. Midtown, one of the top teams in 5A. They have booked their ticket to the Elite Eight tonight. 30 more seconds to make it official. McIntosh and Midtown will be a classic. Not sure where it's going to be yet early next week. Stay tuned for that. We'll have the updates for you on soccer down here. Soccer is in session. We'll drop this weekend with all of those updates. Go through all the brackets with the final eight. Those games will be played early next week. Semifinals late next week. And Midtown on the boys' and the girls' side will be part 
of the GHSA quarterfinals. 2-1 win in overtime for the girls against Jefferson. 5-0 comfortable win in regulation against Clark Central. Big night here at Eddie S. Henderson Stadium in Midtown Atlanta for the Knights. They will be moving on to face McIntosh on the boys' side. Schedule, game times, locations. We'll have that for you later in the week. Make sure you're following us at Soccer Down Here. Soccer is in session. We'll drop probably Saturday once we know where all those games are going to be. Our schedule will drop on Saturday as well for the quarterfinals and hopefully for the semifinals as well. Le rest of this week, we will be at River Ridge on Thursday. Girls and boys doubleheader in Woodstock. Hope you can join us on the SDH Network for that. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I'm Jason Longshore signing off. Midtown wins 5-0 over Clark Central.